Hello, welcome back to Divinity Original Sin 2 with me, Skillis. Last time we just explored uh, Riker's, uh, Riker's outpost here, Riker's Rest. After killing Riker, of course, and finding that he has nothing left to teach us. He has literally nothing left to teach us. Other than, you know, how to die. And uh, we don't want to learn that particular uh, lesson, so... Ooh. You need better pants. Uh, da, 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 da. Sorry, we got a lot of stuff to identify here. What we're going to do today is explore more of this... Of Riker's Rest. Because it's creepy My as hell. Fingers are yours. Direct them. Uh... Ah, there we go. The echoes of a distant park. I love the music we can get out of here. Ooh, yes, ornate chest. Send this to the Red Prince. Send this to Fane. Man, this is where the mass servants died. Ooh. Red Prince, start picking up plates. No, ah, I thought I switched to Red Prince. Like I, I said, Red Prince, start picking up these plates. They're really extravagant plates. Right? 490? Yeah, we're gonna get some good, decent amount of coin for this. Sweet. Wait, wait. Light golden teaspoon. Gotta keep grabbing those light golden teaspoons. Perfect. Oh, let's identify these. 1152. Oh, no, I want them. Read that, feats of the four, blah, 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 minus heroes of Driftwood. Oh, those are the heroes, yeah, we talked about, we fought, actually. All right, we have explored that pretty well. Soon we'll have to go upstairs to explore some more. There's wood. Arrow shafts, I'll take those. We might need those to make more arrows later. Alright, we gotta go upstairs now. And the... I'm worried because... Ooh, wait. That the night, picture of the night told me that... Uh... Crimson amulet, what'd you pick up here, buddy? Eh, that's not so good. That's so good. Let's head upstairs, even though the knight said not to. Dot and Cottontail, are those rabbits? Oh, they're cat. Are they cats? No, oh, it's a dog and a cat. I have killed their owner. <laughs> I'm a horrible human being. Oh, wow. Gotta use more of these. They fell into the too-good-to-use category for me, so hardly ever use the, uh, identify, mm, send to the Red Prince. So, yeah, they fell into the painting of a knight. Well, it doesn't look like he's talking. does look like there might be some sort of spider monster in these rooms, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, there's a balcony. So there was a bunch of... fellas up here. They're all dead.
Painting of a man. Hello, man. You look up to the portrait. Its subject's face staring right back at you, one eyebrow raised, as if lifted by a fish hook. Ouch. Contentious cur. Thou wouldst dare prance and gallivant about without a summons? Get thee gone, for at the count of a dozen less two, the sentries advance. What sentries? Examine it more closely. Come up empty. Perhaps this is what Rivalon has become. It has a sanctuary for greedy <laughs> poltroons seeking riches from noble patrons of the visual arts. The painted man harumphs. I don't think there's anybody who's gonna come because I killed what's his name? So I mean you can You can harumph all you want, I think. It's locked? There is no... Alright, this could be bad, So, but I'm going to lockpick this. My thievery skill is too low. I took a bunch of keys from that guy. One of them should be the key to his bedroom. Alright, let's... This door is locked tight, but there's a sliding hatch at ankle height. Grains of sand drift from beneath the door and form the tiniest dunes. Peek inside the Peering room. In, you can barely see as your vision is limited by a cobweb draped across the hatch. You think you see an empty room carpeted with sand. It's quiet in the room. Too quiet. All right, there's something in here. There are eggs in here. Is there, there is something in here for sure, but... I should be able to get into this room. It's just a door. Let's attack it. What? Is it? Is, uh, I couldn't hit it? Oh, no. I can't. Don't waste your lockpicks. This is silly. Who's going to stop me? Nobody. Nobody's going to stop me from coming in here. I'm sorry. Poor dog. And a cat. Hey. The cat came back. The dog's like, nah. So he has a pet dog. This is his desk. Right. Identify it right here so we know if it's any better. No. So send it to Ren Prince and we're gonna decide who gets it, and then she gets to have this. So he mm, he made a deal with somebody. Hi, Dot. The cat and the dog appear to be arguing. <sighs> well, I can't understand uh, animals anymore. So have fun. Bed lemon linen useless. Oh, good. Of course, the bed linen is useless. What was this? Read that, and then I'll. Yep. Can we lockpick this door? No, my thievery level is still too low to get in here. 
So there's that door over there, but if we go up through those doors downstairs, maybe we get in there. What's with the screams? Where'd it be creepy? The dusty staircase leads to another hatch, which is blocked tight. As you push, it budges slightly, and some sand drifts onto the floor from the other side. Try to force it open through strength. No matter how much you strain and grunt, the hatch bit Simply not strong enough. Okay. The dusty staircase is straining and grunting. Your skeleton. Read that recipe for the cursed. Wait a second. Why am I downstairs again? Those are on the other side of the wall, huh? Oh, there are little spiderlings around me. You're gonna want that. Little spiderling. Little spiderling, little spiderling. So he's a little spiderling right there. Well, hello there. I had no idea you were in the room. I'm glad I came in here though. Um, burned to death. You just killed yourself, Spiderling. I don't understand why. I'm in webbed, but doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. Good, Fane. Go do something. Launch this spider into the air. Yeah, your mom's dead, buddy. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. You can do it. Like, the weaver's still alive, I guess. I could have shot her, but... Zap it. Can't move and webbed. It's okay though. Okay, we did a little extermination up here. I'm sure we might have gotten maybe some dialogue from the giant deadly spider had we not uh, been so rash. All right, all right. Just got a little necro fire. It's no big deal. No big deal.
So I wonder what he was doing. With all these spiders. I'll never know now, probably. Unless the weaver is the thing he had, uh... Unless the weaver is the thing he had a contract with. And if it's so, well, we killed it. We killed it dead. Money. Unidentified helmet, which we will identify here. Send to Lose. Identify that right here. So we're going to switch over to my friend here and say, okay, is this better? No, not even a little bit. So take that up. Send to the Red Prince. Send to the Red Prince. 77, 50. 98, 49. I don't see any reason to have this, so send to Red Prince. I wonder why. I really do, I wonder why. Sandalosa, I'll take that. But otherwise, this is a weird. This is weird, right? Why would you have this? What's the point? I don't understand. I'm sure, like, I could have found out by not killing all this stuff, but I killed all the stuff, so yeah. Kill all the stuff. Let's rotate that stuff around. There we go. Killed all the things in this room. And there is a disembodied hand, so what if I go to Fane? Go to row two. Go inventory. Put on your. Where are my five new skills? Put those five new skills on this new bar. Okay, now we can turn into an elf. Oh, what's this? Huh, charm for two minutes and then living on the edge. Didn't know you'd learn that skill. That's pretty cool. Anyway. Elf it up. Eat. You remember drinking ruby wine with Magister Boris in the armory after hours. You remember his deep hazel <clears throat> eyes, how he trembled as he kissed you. You remember all of it, the best night of your life. Oh. You remember all of it and then you died. I... Oh, okay. The stuff is just added. The stuff is just added to the next row. So, Ifan, what do you got on your next row? Holy crap, Ifan. <laughs> okay. Go down the stairs. The hatch is blocked tight by the... See, this doesn't explain anything. It did come through this door, so... Oh, 
Well, that was pretty easy. Now what do we do, huh, guys? We obviously dealt with some stuff. Did I t Let's talk to Tarquin now that I've killed everything in the graveyard. He's free to come and go as he pleases. Oh yeah, there's the remorseless sinner guy. Tarquin! You still here? Yeah. Tarquin. Hey, Tarquin. 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 Ah, you again. Any luck in old lady Surrey's tomb? Is this what you he wanted? He places his hand on the artifact, <clears throat> and it drones in its strange language. Adan, Shvalon de Mora, Vavor, Rivilis, Awanu Ari, Dem Trushan. The object continues. Saden Menye Veet Feln, Dom Drisval Veet Evdekais. Okay. It's true then. Anathema within reach. Tell me, is this all there was? There weren't any other curios in there? No, that's definitely Amazing. it. Amazing. But not unexpected. He breathes a long, lugubrious sigh. <sighs> it's time I leveled with you. This is the hand grip of the fabled anathema. A sword capable of annihilating anyone. I see. Even a divine. Imagine it. Holding in your hand a force that could wipe away sun and shadow. A sword of life and death. Miracle and sin. A sword <coughs> of... Atonement. I can restore Anathema to working condition, but this is only half of it. We still need the blade. How fortunate that the hilt has already told us where to find it. Blood Moon Island. All right. Hmm. Isle of Volds, yada yada yada, Free Surrey, and so on and so forth. Wow. And it even revealed an exact location. I'll mark it on your map. <laughs> an exercised demon. Living in a sword of glass. The hilt was brought here by one of the many <clears> sons. <throat> Not surprised. None of them Doesn't sound, sound too, too bright. <laughs> I can't imagine having even half a demonic sword around was very healthy for that no. feeble minded family. They probably winced whenever a black cat came around. All right. Well, you may not always have the smarts, but you've sure got the spirit. Thanks, buddy. Blood Moon Island awaits, my friend. It's a bit of a jaunt, but this gives me time to prepare my workspace. We'll catch up in the Lady Vengeance, yes? Tarquin doesn't wait for an answer. His attentions are already turned elsewhere. Right, I'm going to do some uh, trading, because uh, he usually has tons of money. Holy crap. Give me back some of my money, please. I have now learned a new skill. Okay guys, that was very fruitful. That was a great session of stuff we just did. Ah, Dark Things in the Black Pits. Let's go to the Paladins now, huh? Let's go talk to those guys. Uh, we're Paladin Brigade, Bridgehead. Let's go talk to them about their issues. What's going on? Shadow Cloak. Shadow Cloak did that. I. What are these people? What's going on, Cork? What has happened? We gotta get in there. I thought they were part of the... Oh no, he killed that paladin.
Oh, they're level 15. What have I stepped into? We are screwed. These guys are all level 15. We are... Oh, we're level 15 too, so it's about the same, I suppose. Yes, run over here so I can get a better look. I need a better look. Better look at the layout. Hi. I'll deal with you in a bit. Take him down. Inspire all of my fellows to great deeds. He's gonna use two of his AP to move there. Fortify that guy. Give haste to Cork. Keep him alive. Go, buddy, go. You're going to run? Ah. You think reactive shot is going to help you? I'm not even worried about your, your, your reactive shot right now. See that yielding to none I'm doing? Knock him down. Don't need to do that right now. Fantastic. Save that one. Cork so hard. Oh yeah, get in there, Paladin. Oh, he came reactive shot within reactive shot territory. Oh, there were two up there. I forgot there there were two up there, which is good. Oh, there's another spell weaver over there coming in. That's good. Oh, actually, let's take a step over. It's a good thing I left. I put some nice, uh, Ah, that's a very clever. I see. Well. Oh, you knocked down Lose. Ha ha! Cork! Thank you! Alright, these paladins know what they're doing. You done? 
<laughs> He's like, no, nah, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. His dwarf's like, screw it. One, two. I can't shoot. Oh, yeah, I can. Three. And then. Freezing arrow. Who's that guy? Take that, buddy. Attack of opportunities from all angles. Oh, he's going to a higher point. Oh, dang it. Did he get knocked down? Did Fang get knocked down again? You're gonna kill your own dude. You are gonna kill you. What are you doing? Alright. Fane, you're hurting being hurt by that guy. How long do Shackle of Pain last two more turns? Oh, I understand why they're doing that. Because Paladin Hardwin there. Alright, I need to do something to help that. Yeah, I could do Battle Stomp. Take them both down for a second. Gotta wait for Losa's turn to show up. Unless, unless... There you go, buddy. Don't do it. That's a good one. That's a good attack. Good. Good. Bad. Okay. I need to do it to him. I, st I don't have that option available yet. Son of a bitch. There's just so many of them. Why are they here? Paladin Cork is almost dead. Alright, screw this. We need to get down there. Is Losa going to go before Quark? Yes, but Quark's probably going to die before then. Ah, shit. Now, do I have a haste? Scroll, I gotta have something available, right? Who's this guy? It's that guy. It's that dead eye. Okay. I can't do anything. He's necro fired. Cork's gonna die. Because he's on fire. On necro fire. I can't fortify him. Can I? Yeah, I can. Gave you a bit of... Can I fortify again? I'm ready. Nice. Unless they do magic damage to him, I think he's going to be okay. Yeah, 
There we go. Hmm. Go cork. Your guy should be dead. He's running around to kick your butt. Oh, he can't get to them. He's undead. He's undead. Okay. Oh, God damn. Does he have any healing? That's going to do something for him, but not much. Can I crawl up there? That's going to give take one AP. I only have the one left. We got in this back pack. I wish I had the smoke bomb. I'd throw it down there so no one could see that. He's shackled, right? If I do it to him, he dies. Uh. Oops. Cork! I tried to save Hardwin. Well, that's it. You. Come down here and fight like a man. So I can do this. That'll kill Fane, probably. Fortify is still not up. Hmm. On your turn, you are dead, man. Not much I can you can do about that. You're fine, Prince. Go, Cork. You didn't need to do that, Cork. He's trying to keep himself. Oh, I can't see you, Cork. I should be able to... The moment I go into that circle, though... Oh, I can't hit you. Alright, uh, first aid. No. Son of a monkey nuts. It's like, dang it, Cork. I'm trying to keep you alive. I should have used one of the freaking things on the other guy. <laughs> it's like, ow. Wow. You're coming for him. Then go for him. Is this not over yet?
Do I not have any bigger potions? <laughs> no, I don't. Poison potions? There's only just those two left. Sorry, Fane. Got him. I'll yield to not. Let's see you try to run from this. Cork, no! Dang it! Where are you guys going? Stop. Stop. Just stop. <sighs> Rage inducing. Oh my gosh. Go loot these bodies, thank you. Ooh, a smoke screen arrow, knockdown arrow. Ooh, two brand new. I'm sorry, Cork. I'm so sorry. I'm actually very sad that happened. Like, wow, it's. That was, uh. That's sad, because now Paladin Tom is dead. No, I want that for myself. The Shadow Cloaks. Who are these guys? What does that say? Dear hard one, if I may, dear Tom. They say it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission, which is why I put my pen to this paper this morning. With a heavy heart, I have been a loyal servant and true paladin of the order. By now, as part, you may believe that I am deserting my post for fear of fatigue, or out uh, of fear of fatigue or perfidy. But you must not. I cannot divulge where I go, but I know I will leave in service of the higher power. Tom, please carry this message to my family in Arks. I may know that I did not die. Did not shame them, even as rumors fly and gossips whisper in the street. I hope to see you and them once again more in better times when all I have done is clear. I hope you understand, and if you cannot, I hope at least you forgive me. Until we meet again, I am yours sincerely, Din Fortemir. Okay, take that. Might run into his family eventually. Ooh! Sent to the Red Prince, but ooh, that's a cool looking helmet. Identify. It's finesse. 6190. Send to Fane. Identify that. Hey, you want this, I'm pretty sure. Although I can probably increase the damage of the other one I have, so never mind. Send to the Red Prince. This is sad. This is like I'm warning these guys because they were good good people. Better dwarves? Dwarves? Better dwarves? You need better dwarves, guys. Hmm. 
send to the Red Prince. I'll take that. Send to Ifan, and I'll take send this to Ifan, I guess, too, because they won't let me pick it up. I am disappointed in all of these people. Like, I have no idea why these shadow men were attacking. Maybe if I talk to the dwarf. High quality fire essence. Mmm, fire arrows. But until then, I have no idea. Send to the Red Prince. Send to the Red Prince. And this other paladin might know what's going on. Actually, is that Siege Crossbow inside? Alright. With his eyes closed in terror, he mutters to himself. Yeah. Seven, let the Void Walker not find me. Seven, let Sally come that we may leave this bloody place. Seven, save us. Seven, save us. Seven. Okay. Paladin, what happened? They come again, they'll be stronger. I doubt we'll hold. But hold, we must. You guys just got killed. Your leader and... My God, do you have nothing to say about the men who just attacked? Say nothing to no one, but I'm doing Loar's good work too. I'll be helping the pallies here with their uprising in arcs. Happy to. Some of that stuff's not bad, friend. It's what? a little better you... now if I say so myself. <laughs> good luck to you. So mad. I am just so like, like there. There's no explanation about what happened. You can have both those. Like, there's no explanation for this. Thank you, my friend. See, they killed all the paladins. But they didn't... No one explains why they did it. Like none of the none of the bad guys had messages on them explaining what their aim was. I just came and they were all dying. And then what is going on? Uh it doesn't say, does it? It it's already moved it over. Oh, Travis Sahila. Hmm. This. It looks like we won't be able to collect our reward from him. So. I tried to save him, but they put shackles of pain on him. What else was I supposed to do? Wait it out? That's frustrating. They're getting out of hand. Guys, this is how we're going to end this episode. It's it's a sad day. It's a sad time. So without further ado, you know what you have to do. Leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed the video. And subscribe if you want to see what we do next. Thank you for watching. I have been Skillist. This has been Divinity Original Sin 2. And I will see you next time.